In late May 2016, the house where I'm staying had a carpenter ant infestation. My housemate is in control of housekeeping decisions and chose to put out a trap for the ants consisting of sugar mixed with borax. The ants swarm to the sugar and bring it back to their nest, which kills them and the other nest members. The borax bait seemed to work. The ant population declined significantly within about a day. Some sources say that borax doesn't work against carpenter ants. Since borax did kill these ants, I hope I didn't misidentify these ants. On the other hand, some other sources say that borax may work against carpenter ants. By around the second day, I began seeing struggling ants on the floor of my house. This was one of them. Well, I don't know for sure the nature of this ant's affliction, it's plausible that this ant was dying from borax poisoning. Assuming this ant was dying from borax, this video shows the hidden pain that this substance causes. Normally we don't see this suffering because it's endured by the ants in their own nests away from us. This ant looked like it was in agony. At first I wasn't sure what to do about it, so I left it alone for a few minutes to see if the struggling would stop. When that didn't help, I decided I couldn't let the ant suffer further, so I crushed the ant as hard as I could using a block of wood. I put the ant on paper so that I would have a rough surface to smush it onto, allowing me to thoroughly crush each part of the ant. Unfortunately, ant bodies are very tough, and it's hard to fully squish an ant in one blow. For that reason, I typically avoid squishing ants even if they're dying, but in this case the ant suffering seemed severe and protracted enough that I thought I should take action. I would guess that if I hadn't crushed this ant, it would have continued struggling for at least another hour, if not much longer. Later the same night, I found a second ant. This one looked like it might have been dead, but it was still slowly twitching. I hope it wasn't still conscious, but I don't know for sure. Perhaps this ant had also consumed borax and was at a later stage of dying. I watched it for several minutes, and the twitching didn't stop. Eventually I mercy crushed this ant as well, in case it was still in pain. I wasn't able to find reliable information online explaining how borax kills ants. One Yahoo Answers article suggests a few hypotheses, but I don't know if any of them is right. One person there says, quote, Borax is sodium tetraborate. It is a compound of boric acid and sodium salts. The boric acid in borax interferes with digestion and or electrolyte metabolism in some insects. Also, borax is a microscopic abrasive and it cracks parts of the insect or arachnid exoskeleton, which then causes dehydration and death." End quote. Another answer says, quote, the exact mode of action is still open to debate. The active constituent, boron, is a metal that is known to bind to enzymes and alter their activity. Studies seem to suggest that boron acts in cockroaches by disrupting gut enzymes, preventing digestion and starving the animal to death. The mode of action in ants is unknown, but there was some evidence that it wasn't due to direct action within the gut since food was still being absorbed. A possible explanation is that boron, which is fairly toxic to fungi and protozoa, kills essential gut microbes and prevents vitamin synthesis or gut fermentation. I have no idea what sort of death they experience, but I would assume that it would involve the animal becoming gradually less active and eventually succumbing to disease. That's how starvation affects most animals." End quote. Another page says regarding borax killing of cockroaches, quote, when the powders are applied in thin layers in areas where roaches frequent, they will stick to their legs and bodies. Despite being considered filthy pests, they do clean themselves. The powder is ingested during cleaning. Once ingested, it acts as a stomach poison and destroys their digestive system. 
add-on dehydration from the abrasive powder damaging the exoskeleton, and you have yourself a potent roach killer. End quote. This page says, quote, Borax is really a white powdery material based on the mineral of boron, sodium borate or sodium tetraborate. It causes dehydration of insects and changes their digestive tract, resulting in their departure. End quote. This page claims, quote, the way that these materials work is by eroding the waxy coating on an insect's skin, which causes it to dehydrate and die. End quote. Two other sources just said that borax interferes with digestion, but didn't give more details. I don't know if digestion problems or dehydration would have caused the squirming that we saw in the first ant, so it's possible that the ant was dying of something else. If viewers have ideas about this, please let me know.